So we're going to go through how do we work through problems that are set up exponentially, especially half-life problems that you're going to see today. So let's start with this first one. It says the population of a town is currently 6,000 people. This is your initial amount. So I'm just going to write I for that's your initial amount. And it's expected to triple every five years. How many people will be living in the town after 25 years? So this is how we set it up. This part is our initial part. That's our initial part. The number on the bottom of the rational exponent shares with us how often the rate occurs. So it triples every five years. And then we could calculate this for any expected year. So here's 25 years. I'm going to insert 25. Grabbing that calculator at this time, please go on to your calculator. Go 3 raised to the 25 divided by 5. Enter times 6,000. Enter and see what you have for an answer. What do you have? Share it with your elbow partner right now. Go. What do you have for an answer? Do you have the same answer that I do? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you have this or not. You're going to be working through these problems. Okay, I want you now to do the exact same thing, but this time I want you to calculate it. Listen closely. Ready? This exact same problem, but I'm going to switch things up. Instead of saying tripling, I'm going to say it quadruples. It quadruples every 10 years. You may want to write that down in your paper. It quadruples every 10 years. Please calculate for me after 25 years, what would be the population? If it quadruples every 10 years, what would be the population after 25 years? So how do I set this up? All right, so I have my final amount for population is 6,000. It's still the initial population. The rate is quadrupling. In the rational exponent, that's an exponent that has a fraction, the denominator states how often that rate changes. So it's going to quadruple every 10 years, and I want to calculate at the end of 25 years. So on your calculator, please take 4 raised to the 25 divided by 10. Then press enter and take it times 6,000 and check with your partner. What do You always want to type in the 4 raised to the, so 4 care key, 25 divided by 10, enter times 6,000, and you should come up with 192,000. Can I have a thumbs up if you got it right, a thumbs down if you have it wrong, just so I can see. Okay. Justine, would you sit over here so we have partners, and I will work here. Um, Rosalinda, can you sit here for me, please? Here's our next problem. Have one of the two of you not writing anything down. Please read this out loud to your partner. I want this done in 30 seconds. Ready? Get that go. One of the two of you go. Read. A small town finds the population is moving to the city. Every four years, the population decreases by half. And after 20 years, the population of the town is 2,000. What was the initial population? Okay, are you ready? I have nothing on the calculator. Calculator's down. You have 20 seconds right now to not solve an equation. I want you simply to set it up. 20 seconds means you both have a pencil or pen in your hand. We're both working together. 20 seconds, ready, get set, and go. One, two, three. On your paper, working together, jail partner. No calculators. Only working this through and setting up an equation. Must be talking with your partner. What does this look like? I'm seeing Camila's group talking together. Javi's group is talking. Melanie's group, Anthony's group. Talk to your partner. How do we set this up? When somebody gives you an equation that's already built, I trust you can solve it. But can you set it up initially? So let's do this together. Are you ready? Here we go. We know the end population is 2,000. Our end result goes on the left-hand side. Our final result goes on the left-hand side. Please correct this if you have it wrong. I'm going to put P for population. This is our initial population. Now, what is happening in terms of the rate? What words do you see? Don't tell me. Tell your elbow partner. What words do you see that are able to describe what the rate is? Go. Tell your elbow partner. Go. Decreases by half. So this is this is an easy one. Grab your calculator. Type in one on your calculator. Please go. Grab your calculator. Type in one. We always start with 100%. So that's that's one. 
Now, if we decrease by half, subtract one half, what do we end up with? One half. I don't want you automatically just to write down one half because it could say decrease by a third and then we'd have to write two thirds or decrease by one fifth and then we'd have to write four fifths. So I have one, which represents 100% and I'm going to decrease it by half. So I'm going to decrease this by half, right? So one subtract a half is going to be one half. This is the one half. Now, how often does that occur? That's key. How often does it occur? Every four years. How often the rate occurs always goes in the denominator of the rational expression. And now we are going to calculate this. We know the end amount is 2,000 after 20 years. So how do I go about solving this equation? This is what I have. Again, I'm changing this into a 20. And now I'm able to calculate this amount. And that it's stuck with the A. I used a P when I did it with you. It's the same thing. Um, and I'm able to calculate this variable, A in this case, by taking this and dividing it to the other side. We can see that. So please come up with this, um, sorry, please come up with this amount and then take 2,000 divided by that. Make sure you come up with the same answer that I do. The town's original population was 64,000. 64,000. Here's our next one. Okay, I want one of the two of you, please. You don't have to write any of this down. Please read this out loud. You have 30 seconds to read it. Calculate it down. Go. All right, so are you ready? I don't want you to solve. You have 20 seconds to create an equation with your partner. Talk the entire time. If you're out, your buttons are out, I'll cell phones are away. Go. One, 20 seconds talking to your partner. Two, three, not individualized work with your partner. Four. <clears throat> by a raise of hands if you were going to take a quiz on this right now how many are like I don't really know where to put the numbers hands I'm not real confident okay then please write this down this is your final for a specific period of time this is your initial amount so final amount is on the left for a specific amount of time equals initial amount. Sorry, that's a pretty ugly word, initial. Okay, we're going to multiply it by the rate. Now the rate has to occur every so often. How often the rate occurs is here. So I'm just going to write how often. And on top will be a specific amount of time that's related to the final amount. Like, for instance, when we talked about number of people moving um, into the city, I believe was the question, or maybe it was out of the city, I forget exactly. But it was like, after 25 years, what will be the final amount? So it'll give you a specific period of time and a final amount that corresponds to that. So with that being said, let's go through this and let's identify what we know. So for this problem, a scientist has discovered a new strain of bacteria. The bacteria culture initially contains 1,000. Initially contains. Your initial should be 1,000. The bacteria are doubling. That describes the rate. And how often does it happen? Every 30 minutes. So we have to decide, are we going to talk about it in terms of hours or in terms of minutes? But they have to be in terms of the same units. So I'm welcome to put 30 down here. It's going to occur every 30 minutes. But then I have to keep in mind that for this problem, I've converted into minutes for my unit. So my rate is doubling. I initially have a thousand here and I have a choice of doing 30 minutes or 0.5 if I want to write it as an hour. Okay. Now the next thing it says is how many bacteria. So what will be the final amount after three hours? Now, why, if I put 30 in the bottom, turn to your partner and ask me, why can I not put a three on top? Why can I not put a three on top? What do I have to convert it into? 
So I can write it like this and put 180. So this would be perfectly fine. Or I could put y equals 1,000 times 2. And I could put a 0.5 on the bottom representing a half hour that it doubles every half hour. And then in top, I would do 3. Either way, I get the exact same answer. Okay, we are going to take a practice assessment question. Are you ready? Here's the problem. Working with your partner, you will have two minutes. You must be talking the entire time. Heads up, ready to set, go. A radioactive isotope delay decays exponentially. The time it takes for half of the amount to decay is called isotope's half-life. A certain isotope has a half-life of 10 hours. After 40 hours, there's 0.25 milligrams left. What is isotope's initial mass? Make sure you are talking with your partner. Gabe's group's working together. Thank you. Thank you to Melody's group, to Valdez's group, Javi's group is working well together, Crystal, Rosalinda's group. So I'm going to tell you how I go about doing this. I'm just like scanning through this. I'm scanning through this. Okay, so half-life is like one half. We know that. So the half-life, that is the rate. The rate, whenever you see half-life, that's the rate. Now, how often does that occur? The half-life is what? Ten hours. So up here, ten is on the bottom. In the rational exponent, the denominator always describes how often that rate occurs. Okay, we want to know the initial part. I'm going to put an A here. We don't want to put an I, because remember, I's are no longer variables. I's are imaginary numbers that are associated with complex answers. So now we are having a time that corresponds to a final amount. So here is the final amount, and here is the time. You ready? With your partner, grab your calculator, and you have 10 seconds to solve. 10, 9, 8. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here's my setup. I'm going to change this into a 40. 40 corresponds to the amount we have left. So after 40 hours, we know exactly what is left. And here's my final answer. Can I have a thumbs up or thumbs down if you're able to achieve four? Thumbs up, thumbs down. <clears throat> So let's make sense of this. Let's go back here and just talk about what does this problem mean? Because a lot of students may be doing the math here, but it's just not making a lot of sense. We start with four, please listen. We start with four milligrams of a substance. What happens to that after 10 hours? It starts to decay. And, and what happens? Like in 10 hours, what am I left with? No, in 10 hours. Two. Turn to your partner. How did he know that there's two left after 10 hours? Decreases by half. So after 20 hours from the initial amount, what am I now left with? One, because it decreases by half. Does that make sense to you? Every 10 hours, we take what's remaining and we decrease it by half. All right. Let me see if there's... Okay, are you ready? Here's your next popular... Or here's your next one. Now, we're going to set this up together and let's see if you can solve it. Have one person read this aloud. Begin. Okay, I'm starting from the beginning here. Detroit finds its population is decreasing fast as people from the inner city wish to live in the suburbs. Every six years, the popul population decreases by 30%. So I'm going to draw parentheses for the rate. Now, I need you to turn to your partner, and I want you to guess what goes inside of there. I don't care if you're wrong, but I want you to talk to your partner. What do you think goes inside of there? This is tricky. You don't need a calculator. You can do mental math here. 
Okay. We're going to see by raise of hands. Who says 30? Thank you for participation. Who says 0 0.30? Thank you for participation. Who says 0 0.70? 0 0.70 is right. Do you remember when we talked about the half-life and I said to you, you're going to take one, which represents 100%, and you subtract half-life? You, so you subtract, you guys remember this? So we always start with 100%. What are we subtracting? Because it's decreasing. If it was increasing, we would add. We're going to decrease 30%. What am I left with then? 70, right? Okay, so 70%. So here is my 70.70. Now, how often does that happen? Every six years. Um, and now it gives me a final amount, and it gives me the actual year. So my year, that was ugly six. My year is 18. We want to know the initial and I have this 337465. Grab a calculator. You have 20 seconds to solve. Don't look up until you have an answer. Go. Then check to see is your answer approximately the same as mine. Okay.